Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use sheet clamp and how to use fiber holders. So I'm going to place fiber on one side on the sheet clamp and another side with the fiber holders. First, you need to get the Phillips screwdriver that's included in the kit. You can remove sheet clamp by unscrewing the screw like this. Okay, remove it. And now you can use fiber holders. Okay, I'm going to leave sheet clamp this side just to show you the difference. Okay, so now three hole stripper and single mode fiber. Let's turn on the splicer first. Press and hold this power button like for two seconds and it'll boot up and it's ready to splice. As you can see, this splicer is now set to single mode to single mode. So if you're not sure about the fiber types you're using, you can go back to main menu by pressing this menu button and go to fusion mode. And it's now it's set to SM to SM, single mode to single mode. You can change it to auto mode by pressing on the screen or you can press the uh, button so go to auto and then select and then there's a select uh, area and now you can check like this okay now it's set to auto mode right it's set to auto mode that means if you place a fiber it'll automatically detect what type of fiber it is but this mode will take about one or two more seconds because you need to detect the uh, fiber. So if you know what type of fiber you're using, you can go to, you can just select uh, fiber type and it'll save one or two seconds, okay? So now let's uh, start splicing. With the fiber cable, you need to strip it first. One, two, And then three, a little by little, okay? Use the middle one to strip off the jacket and use the smallest hole here to remove the coating, okay? After removing the coating, you need to uh, clean the fiber with the alcohol. Also, this wipes and alcohol is also included in the kit. So clean it. And now, you need to use this cleaver. There's a button in the back. Press down, and now you can open it. And then remove this dust cover. Since you have uh, this universal holder, let's use the uh, sheet clamp first. Okay, so we have, uh, we prepared this fiber. So, press it. Press the bar to open the lid. Place the fiber in the middle. And close it. And then, now, take out the fiber. And place this one in the right side. On the sheet clamp. Okay, now, let's prepare the other side. We need to remove this uh, universe holder to use the the fiber holder okay so the tool you you can get it from the box here and remove it okay this screw can fell off easily so make sure you put it in uh, this pouch so you don't lose it to use the fiber holder the same way, take off the jacket with the hole in the middle. One, two, and three. And with the smallest hole, uh, with the uh, strip of the coating, okay? 
Now you clean the fiber. Okay. And then place it on the holder. Okay. And this time we already open it. So uh, just press the bar and place it. And then boom. Okay. All right. And then place it. Now you can close it. Okay, it's place completed. Now take out the fiber. Oops. And you need to protect this splice point with the heat sleeve. At the job site, you have to put this sleeve before you splice. Otherwise, you have to cut it and do it again. Okay. And then open the heater and it will automatically heat up the oven so it will melt the sleeves. So it'll be protected. Okay, let's wait about 20 seconds, 20 seconds to 30 seconds. And while we are waiting, you can, there's a heater setting. You can change the heating time and uh, temperature. And you can also do a preheat. But if you want to save the battery, you can turn it off. It's up to you. Okay, let's see. Now it's all done. Okay, and there's a cooling tray included. Place the cooling tray and this, like this. Okay, and I heard that you're using AFL splice on connectors. AFL splice on connectors, tip of the splice on connector, it could be a little short a little far away from the electrodes so i think it's better to place it on the left side because uh, left side is a little bit closer to the electrodes so uh, let me know if you have any issues using the uh, afl uh, splice on connectors and hope you uh, enjoy your machine thank you bye bye